So about to, to, just about to kick off uh, round number five, playing uh, Steve uh, Wagner is playing a uh, huge slew of Germans. Uh, it's a mechanized uh, Panzer Grenadier list with a lot of a lot of heavy hitters, uh, pack 40s. Uh, we're playing hold the line. He's chosen to obviously deploy on that side of the table. So there's one objective if he's on top of. And the second objective is back here in the tree line. So this will be my deployment area all back here. Um, looks like he's holding off two infantry platoons and heavy guns. That game's over. Um, I lose in a 6-1. In a uh, just look at the amount of stuff. Like, pack 40s, infantry, hummus, martyrs. He's got a total of 10 platoons. The guns were just coming in reserve. He's got Neville Warfers. Um, I lost that platoon uh, this turn. Uh, so we finished uh, five turns, so we didn't even get six turns in. That platoon over there got below half. They passed the motivation, got them into the woods. My plan was to get in on the Neville Workers. We ran out of time. This platoon of tanks is all dead. Uh, got them uh, within four inches. Unfortunately, this fellow right here is a Panzer Shrek team. Can capture that uh, objective, and he's also got infantry within uh, that can contest also. So. podcast tonight with the WWPD guys. It's going to be pretty awesome. Looking forward to that. Free for all. It's the last, uh, last mission. Uh, another U.S. Uh, citizen playing a Canadian list with a whole bunch of stuff. He's got uh, Buffalo's infantry, uh, flame throwing uh, carriers, uh, breaching groups, flails and all that stuff. Rockets. He's got one objective here. And the second one up on the hill. I placed mine right there. And right where he's putting his uh, lake. So there's nothing going in the lake. Playing the uh, death blades as, uh, as concealment. Uh, slow going. The escarpments, uh, you know, no direct line of sight. That's about it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. how this turns out. I told him he's, uh, he's correct on that one. This one here, as you can see, is a, is a Dunkin' Donuts marker. And, uh, well, everybody knows it's Tim Hortons in Canada, so uh, I'm going to get him a, a Tim Hortons uh, uh, objective marker. Right. This is post-deployment. Just started the game, so Dave's just doing his recce move. Uh, I got the first turn. This is how everything ended up being placed. All the way on the railroad tracks. I'm going to up the hill. And the hill, yeah. Last uh, platoon there. So. I think those guys are already in the corner. Okay. So, we're uh, in four turns. I finally got planes for the first time. I managed to pop a tank um, over here. Um, these guys. Yeah. The Canadians have come out of the woods. They're trying to move towards uh, the trail tra train tracks. Flame throwing carriers are moving. They're starting to move up again. Uh, these guys haven't moved. I pulled the gun teams off the hill. Uh, yeah, so they're going to try and move across the board this way and help support this because I got a feeling that. Remaining flyer flying and ensuring that that platoon is not going to be around the next turn. Test. Dave's just making a test right now to make sure he can get some consumed and stuff. So, yeah, probably uh, pick it up again at the end of the game, which uh, we end up being a little sooner than I uh, anticipated. Nationals is officially over. This game is officially over. Uh, 
Dave was at least a turn away from getting this assault off. Uh, we talked about it, and uh, we just said, you know, we'll slug it out to the end. Uh, Dave had last turn, so it was an all or nothing. Uh, the objective that was over here, I fended off uh, two Buffaloes, uh, two Shermans, um, ten total stains of, uh, of imagery. Uh, I took a risk in the beginning, I opened up with my LMGs. Um, they, we're going to roll, well, roll ten dice instead of, instead of two each for defensive fire. I, I, I only got four hits. So I couldn't even, uh, couldn't even pin him. Um, he fought down to the last man. Uh, what you see here is all I had left. So I had two, uh, two infantry stands, the boss with his pistol. Um, yeah, and then uh, the platoon commander. So at the end of the assault step, uh, he didn't have any stands within, he didn't have any teams within four inches. So he couldn't capture anyway. But uh, uh, the platoon stuck around. So uh, I had to get that platoon kill because um, he had a oversized company. So oversized companies, um, you have to get at least two. Your first platoon doesn't count. So that recce team that I uh, blew the snot out of on the road there didn't, didn't count for anything. Uh, rockets pretty much did me in. Uh, the land mattress uh, rockets with the, with the dinner plate, uh, devastating bombardment every turn pretty much. So yeah, so uh, that's it, man. Nationals are done. Uh, next is uh, WWPD Podcast. It's going to be awesome. Uh, big shout out to uh, Steve, John, and Luke, and all the guys that give him a hand. Um, I'll meet some of those other guys tonight. I had an awesome time. Uh, Dave was by far my, my favorite opponent, uh, although I had a really good time with all my other opponents. Uh, I think it's just because the game came down to such a uh, nail-biter. Uh, he, he comes out on top. 